Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, I'll show you how to subtract mixed numbers with different denominators with regrouping. Okay, let's solve the first example. 12 and 2 sixths minus 5 and 8 ninths. As you can see, the denominators are not the same. These are dissimilar fractions. In subtracting mixed numbers with dissimilar fractions, the first step is to change the fractions to similar fractions by getting the least common denominator or LCD and finding the equivalent fractions. The least common denominator or LCD is the least common multiple or LCM of the denominators. The denominators are 6 and 9. Okay, so let's find the LCM of 6 and 9 and use that as denominator. Okay, let's use the continuous division to find the LCM of 6 and 9. Let's write 6 and 9. Then, think of a number, a prime number, that can divide both 6 and 9. What prime number can divide both 6 and 9? They are divisible by 3. So let's divide them by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. The quotients 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. So they don't have other common factor aside from 1. So we will not divide anymore. Now, to find the LCM, we will multiply the prime divisor and the quotients. Let's multiply 3 times 2 times 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. The least common multiple or LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. And we will use this as denominator. Okay, let's write the answer. Let's copy the whole number 12 and write the LCD 18 minus the whole number 5 and the LCD 18. Next, let's find the equivalent fractions by getting the numerators. Okay, for the minuend, let's divide 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. The numerator of the minuend is 6. Let's do the same in the subterhand. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. 2 times 8 equals 16. The numerator of the subtrahend is 16. Okay, the fractions now are similar fractions. They have the same denominators. Next is to subtract. Subtract the fractions first by subtracting the numerators. Okay, 6 minus 16 cannot be because 16 is greater than 6. That means the fraction of the minuend is less than the fraction of the subtrahend. So, we need to regroup before subtracting. The fraction of the minuend will borrow from the whole number. And in this problem, I'll show you the trick in regrouping. Okay, from the whole number 12, let's get 1. Let's borrow 1. So, 12 will become... 11. And for the fraction, just copy the denominator 18. Then, to write the numerator here, just look at the numerator and the denominator of the minuend and add them. Okay, 6 plus 18 equals 24. So, the numerator is 24. Okay, that's the trick in regrouping. But, this is the solution when you regroup step by step. 
we need to take 1 from the whole number and change 1 to a fraction equal to 1 in which the denominator is the same as the denominator of the minuend and subtrahend. Then, add them together. As you can see, the numerators are 18 and 6. And their sum is 24. That's why, in the trick, I just add the numerator and the denominator. Because a fraction equal to 1 has a numerator and denominator that are the same. And I have that fraction equal to 1 in my mind that I actually added to the fraction. That's the reason behind my trick. Okay, let's subtract now. Let's copy the subtrahend 5 and 16 eighths. Okay, let's subtract the fractions by subtracting the numerators. 24 minus 16 equals 8. And copy the common denominator, 18. Then, subtract also the whole numbers. 11 minus 5 equals 6. The answer is 6 and 8 eighteenths. But we can still reduce the fraction 8 eighteenths to lowest term because the numerator and the denominator are both even numbers. That means they have other common factor aside from 1. So, we need to get their GCF and divide them by their GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. Okay, let's get the GCF or greatest common factor of 8 and 18 using continuous division. What prime number can divide both 8 and 18? They are divisible by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. The quotients 4 and 9 do not have other common factor aside from 1. So we will not divide anymore. Now the GCF is the prime divisor. This one. The GCF of 8 and 18 is 2. Now, let's divide the numerator and denominator by their GCF. Let's write the answer. Just copy the whole number 6. Then divide 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. The final answer is 6 and 4 ninths. Next example, let's subtract 20 and 1 fourth minus 19 and 2 thirds. The denominators are not the same, so we need to get the least common denominator or LCD and change the fractions to similar fractions. The denominators are 4 and 3. These are consecutive numbers. So, to get the LCD fast, just multiply 4 times 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. The LCD is 12. Okay, let's write. Copy the whole number 20. Then, LCD 12 minus whole number 19 and LCD 12. Next, let's find the numerators. Okay, let's divide. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. Let's do the same in the subtrahend. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. The numerator of the subtrahend is 8. Okay, the fractions now are similar. They have the same denominators. So let's proceed to the next step, which is to subtract. Subtract the fractions first by subtracting the numerators. 3 minus 8 cannot be because 8 is greater than 3. The fraction of the minuend is less than the fraction of the subtrahend. So we need to regroup. The fraction will borrow from the whole number 20. Okay, this time, let's do the step-by-step -step process in regrouping. We will borrow 1 from 20. 
So 20 will become 19. Then let's write plus 1. This is the one that we borrowed from 20. And add the fraction 3 twelfths. Okay, next is to change 1 to fraction equal to 1, in which the denominator is the same as the denominator of the minuend and subtrahend. So if we change 1 to fraction, it is 12 over 12 or 12 twelfths. 12 divided by 12 equals 1. A fraction is equal to 1 if the numerator and denominator are the same. Then, add the fraction 3 twelfths. Okay, to complete the regrouping process, just add them together. Okay, copy the whole number 19. And add the fractions by adding the numerators. 12 plus 3 equals 15. And copy the common denominator, 12. Okay, we're done regrouping. This is now the new minuend. Now, let's copy the subtrahend and subtract. Minus 19 and 8 twelfths. Okay, let's subtract the fractions. Subtract the numerators, 15 minus 8 equals 7. And copy the common denominator, 12. Then, subtract also the whole numbers. 19 minus 19 equals 0. Since the difference is 0, we don't need to write 0 here. So, the answer is 7 twelfths. 7 twelfths is already in lowest term because the numerator and the denominator do not have other common factor aside from 1. So this is the final answer.